Hello YouTube, RJ. Hey, got a new toy in the shop here. Just came in from Amazon. Uh, thought we'd cut it open and take a look. Maybe do a little testing on it while we're doing it. So, let's crack this puppy open and see what we got. Round box, we know that. Let's cut this open. What it all boils down to is I wanted um, a new meter for the shop and so I went with an Owen XDM 1041 to put right up in this little puppy hole. I want something thin, small, thin like this little scope and vector analyzer that I could keep on my bench right at eye level because I thought it'd be a lot easier to pay attention to what I'm working on and what I'm doing with the probes and looking there. Normally I have to look way up on my bench, up on my shelves above my bench and uh, to my old uh, what are they, three and a half digit meters? Uh, so I thought this would be a little more resolution, maybe, maybe not more accuracy, but most of what I'm doing doesn't need that. We just need a bench meter. So I bought this little thing to see just how well it would work out. As you can see, it comes with the normal stuff you'd expect, USB cable, probes, instruction manual. can hook it to the computer with the USB and as you can see it's pretty small but it has pretty good sized digits that's another thing I was looking for it was a bright screen with uh, you know nice big digits and uh, you know something I didn't need to worry about tearing up my plan is in the future I'm going to buy a I, I want to buy a really high precision multimeter something like a uh, Keith Lee six and a half seven and a half digit but uh, for the moment for what this everyday meter I think this little thing is going to be perfect. Looks good. It's got nice buttons. Of course, we've got to still got to peel the plastic off, make it official. So uh, let's set this thing up and uh, you know do a little testing. Let's just see just how accurate it is. I've got you know our uh, Link's DMM reference. So uh, got to get it plugged in. One thing I did notice is this cord is not U.S. It's uh, some European, or I guess it's a European cord. Um, well, these tie wraps are on there. But uh, it's uh, it, it's going to work out because they sent a little adapter, stupid looking adapter. So uh, will work. I mean, you could always just get a, a U.S. cord and plug in. But you see the little white adapter. That'll get us going. So, um, you know. Let's plug it in, turn it on, see what it does. Doesn't look bad. That's not good. Maybe you got to push it longer, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. That's not long to boot up. Screen doesn't look bad at all. I like it. It's got a view from any angle. You see how I, you can see the digits even from this angle. So I'm going to like that. Let's take a look at these probes and see what they look like. Uh, what do they got here? Uh, hey, they got little, the little condoms for safety. That's uh, always good. You got to have those on your probes. We all know what happens if you don't Keep them probes coming with their little condoms on them. Fairly sharp, not the sharpest, but darn good. No, they'll do. Nothing wrong with them. Plugs don't feel bad. Okay, let's get the uh, DMM checker out, and uh, let's uh, see how accurate this thing seems to be. <clears throat> so, uh, if you haven't seen the video, um, or the videos where I made these little devices, this is exactly what they're for. They give us a nice standard, um, far more accurate than this meter is going to be, so we don't have to worry about, you know, whether they're accurate or not. Be interesting to see uh, how this meter lines up. So 
set up on the box here and get it to where we can see it on the camera well hopefully okay so let's hook this thing up to our box start out on our 5 volt we'll get our common screwed probe screwed in here since it doesn't have uh, the banana jack adapters on the probes and I want to test with the probes that came with it Everything loose. Into the 5 volt reference. Let's put this thing on. Let's see, 5 volts, I guess. So hit the button and. That's not too shabby, man. That's not shabby at all. That surprises me in the accuracy, actually. Oh. You know, this little box should probably be within, oh, under 10 ppm. And this meter is, uh, it's, it's nailing it. So, um, can't complain about that. Can't complain about that at all on the accuracy. That, that's, uh, that's almost shocking for a barely over $100 meter. Um, let's get the probe switched over to milliamp here. And let's see how the milliamps do. Um, probably this and resistor will be where it shows up. It's uh, you know lack of lack of uh, accuracy. Let's see if I can get off the five amp scale. What am I doing wrong here? I haven't read the manual, so you'll have to cut me a little slack here. I'm just figuring it out as we go. If I can figure it out, it's a good indicator. Hit the milliamp bat, uh, button, that's what you got to do, and then go in and choose your range. Five milliamp range and yeah, that's not that great. It's off uh, more than I would expect. Four point five two three three, and we should be seeing five. That's uh, not the greatest. Not that this is what I'm looking for out of this thing, but let's try a different scale. Let's go to the uh, 50 milliamp scale just for the heck of it. Now, see, this looks a lot better. Th this is what I would expect to see, actually. I don't have any problem with that, but obviously on the low scale, we we've got an accuracy issue. What's 500 milliamp read? See that that I totally buy. That that looks good. Resistance, there's more resistance. Let's check the resistance scale. Let's put it on the uh, 500 on oh, the dummy. Um, uh, 500 to read and overload, of course. Should, as it should be. Now we're hooked up to 5K and it's still overload. It should be, that makes sense. So let's get off the 500 ohm and get on 5K ohm. It says I'm in overload. 50K. Oh, ding dong. <laughs> Any, anybody else ever do that? Oh, hey, that looks a lot better. Hey, that looks really good, actually. That looks really good. I wouldn't even have expected that accuracy out of it. So, so far, the only accuracy issue is in the, the, the 5 milliamp range seems to be off some. 
at the very bottom. But but we're measuring at the well, the top of the range, I guess. So that would be good. But you know, I can live with it for the price of this. This this looks great. I'm happy. I've got nothing nothing to complain about. I would say if you needed a, a little digital meter, wouldn't look for anything amazingly accurate, amazingly great or anything. You just wanted your everyday knock around, put it on the bench. You know what? Spend a lot of money. This thing's perfect, man. Just over a hundred bucks on Amazon. I mean, you know, that that's you know, resistance don't, does not tend to be super accurate on you know anything but your highest end meters or LCR. So this this looks good. I'm really happy. At the, I'm happy with the purchase. So if you want a cheap meter, that'll work good. It's got nice screen and everything I, I think this is a winner so you'll see it on the bench so thanks a lot for watching guys